Spawning the axe is near too commonly. What in the world? <laughs> My goodness gracious. How's it going, everyone? We're here. We're here in Parque Fernando. You may be asking yourself, has Bo done a beginner series episode for uh, Parque Fernando yet? The answer is no. No, I haven't. So uh, this is going to be uh, completely brand new, basically. I have nothing on this map. Um, I have I have one outpost over here, one outpost over here, the starting outpost, and, and one other one. So this is going to be fun. <laughs> but uh, everything is brand new, which everything should... I mean, the Axis Deer would be brand new anyway. But uh, yeah. Ethan Thompson is here. Dak Force 1. Tan Tan the Muffin Man. Tristan Jack. Uh, NDB09. My Gaming. My goodness gracious. Cat Plays Bases is here. Henry Balzar. Goises1234. Blaze Bailey. That Trombonist. Timothy Descato. Dan Dan is giving us the plan. Sounds good. Sounds sounds okay. Bet you're gonna find a level five axis within three lakes. Well, uh, I mean that would be cool. We'll uh, we'll certainly take a look at it, and uh, you know I'll probably find out a way to uh, mess it up. So we'll just we'll just keep going on. Jerry Tally, how's it going? You said my name right. That's amazing. Well, it looks like Goises, doesn't it? I mean, if you put a, if you took the G off and you put an N there, it would be Noises, right? Remember Christopher Thompson, BZ. I finally got my own YouTube channel, and I'm the same person on my Ethan Thompson account. Well, dang, bro. Look at that. Red Deer. Ooh, Red Deer. We finally found some and Oh, level five. Look at them all. Goodness gracious. I'd unlock your outpost with you, but I'm sure you'd want to do it legitly. Yeah. Yeah. I'm one of those dudes, you know? I'm one of those legit dudes. People always ask me, yo, are you one of them fake dudes? And I'm like, no, bro. Bro, I'm legit. I am legit. So, uh, yeah. So we have a red deer. We have some axis deer. They're all hanging out right now. A bunch of buddies, I guess. Um... They're like, oh, you look like me. Oh, you look like me. Um. Anyway. Oh, there's more. More. Oh, is that level seven over there? Kind of looks small to be a level seven. It is a level seven, though. Interesting. There are some pretty decent level seven red deer. So anyway, if the Axis deer are, in fact, messed up, and there's too many diamonds or something like that, then we will... Then we will move on and uh, start hunting red deer or something like that. Something that's not messed up. But even if they are messed up, I mean, I have. You see, I have I have two outposts. Um, I you know we probably don't even have that good of a chance of finding one. Anyway, unless they're like super easy to find. So I don't know. We'll find out. I don't know. Caught my first bass in like two weeks and it was five pounds. Well, dang, bro, get wrecked. You certainly said i guess you you could have you could have said that to the bass you could have been like yo get wrecked i, I don't know there's a level two there shall we uh shall we just shoot one to get an idea of what these axis deer look like um i didn't really pay too much attention to the streams and stuff like that so i really don't know um one thing i am thinking what well, i guess we can see Let's see. There we go. They are level three, so we can shoot them with an act. We can shoot them with the 243, but we might get out the uh, the solo king. That would be fun to use again. It has been a while since I've used the solo king, so we might do that. My gaming, yes, I do. Draven Rummel, how's it going? You played a hunting game from 2010. Dang, Deer Hunter 6404. Okay, where is this dude? Here we go. Oh, he turned right at the last second. I really hope I shot the one I was hoping. They just all started jumping around each other. Is that because there's a puma over here or something? They all just started going crazy. Uh, I mean, actually, I like—I really like the idea of getting the, uh, well, we, we killed whatever we were shooting at. <laughs> it's dead. Um, let's get the solo key now. I'm really excited about this. I have not used the solo key in so long, and it's such a sweet rifle. Let's get the uh, the 243s out of here, and we'll put the... Where are you? 
Where are ya? I tell you with the truth, I don't even think I remember what the uh, Solokin shoots. Neither. I probably don't even have it in my inventory. I just stopped using it altogether. Where are ya? There you are. Okay, here we go. The front line, the defense line, or the assembly line? That is the question. Let's get that. Okay. And uh, 7.62, I believe. Rifle ammo, 7.62. Right, there we go. Only has one ammo type because to give it two ammo types would make it too overpowered. It's like uh, Bo Jackson in that old Tecmo Bowl. Uh, and we didn't equip it, so that's cool. <clears throat> just a second, everyone. I'll get back to the chatting here in just a second once I, once I get everything in my inventory and we can start hunting again. There we go. Now we're now we're clicking by golly. Let's go get this deer. Deliciously pulp is here. How's it going? And Donna Sanders, you haven't missed a thing. We just started. The seat that they come on Coronado? Found a diamond mountain goat and deleted its zone. How do I get it? You deleted its zone. What do you mean you deleted its zone? You, you shot too many things and the uh, zone disappeared? Is that what's going on? The second axis you spotted was a diamond? Well, dang, bro. You just got lucky, I guess, because uh, cause the second axis I spotted was not a diamond. It was a level two. <laughs> Sports tuber and cold deed. How's it going? By the way, people at finding five diamond axis in 15 minutes, they're super broken. Get them while you can. You know opposite of that I would uh, I would not get them while you can it's um I mean they're broken so they're not they're not worth anything um, so if you just shoot a bunch of diamond axis deer please let me get you oh no I get back up so uh, if you shoot a bunch of them then everyone's just gonna think that you have a bunch of broken axis deer I still have the missions on. Gosh dang it. <laughs> so there's our first true axis deer there. Right on. No, 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 shut up. Go away. Turn off the missions there. Eight pound bass in real life on accident. I was fishing for a fantasy, came up and grabbed my hook and he yanked him onto the bank. Well, dang, bro. That's a big one. That is a big one for sure. Hello! Well, I see him. I don't see the bucks, though. Where be the bucks? Going to be your next Fishing Planet video, uh, very soon. You know, I actually have, uh, I have four Fishing Planet videos, uh, filmed and ready to be edited. And, uh, and I will say that if you're looking forward to Fishing Planet videos, then this month is going to be specifically very special for you. More Fishing Planet videos this month than any other month ever. So just look forward to that. You just got your first diamond 10 minutes after an albino. Well, dang, Fishing with Nelson. Well done, man. Watch your fishing planet vids while grinding the Everglades. Well, right on, sports tuber. That's awesome. Appreciate it, man. Let's uh, see if we can get this darn axis deer. We are going to be playing fishing planet here towards the end, around 8:30. So if anyone asks in the chat, all of you people who are here early on can uh, fill them in on the news of the day. You know, you know what I mean. So we shot this dude where over here. Over here. It was a perfect, oh wait, we already picked him up. I'm so stupid, come on. <clears throat> You're just down to seven pointer in your life. Goodness gracious, the blue froggo. Also, remember you, I'm trying to, the blue froggo. It's been a while, I think, if you've been here before, but I, I appreciate you being here. Oh, a good spot for access deer, okay. Well, if I knew where that was, I would totally go there, but I only have two outposts right now. So, uh, so we will see. What would be a better purchase, Parquet or Quadro? Uh, up to you. I enjoy both of them, honestly. 
Um, I think I might enjoy Quattro more, but I know a lot of people who would say the opposite. I know a lot of people really like Parquet. Um, so really it's just whatever, whatever you want. Do you want a bunch of goats that you can hunt after, or do you want, uh, a black buck and, uh, some deer and pumas? I guess they don't have pumas in Quattro, so there's wolves in, uh, in Quattro and, 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 uh, goats. No ducks. There are, there's one duck here, so. We got eight pond bass. Dang, bro. So the red deer are all running in this direction. I think this the axis deer all ran this way. Did you get anything, Bo? We got one deer. We got one buck. We just wanted to uh, take a look at what they look like, basically. But uh, the word is that they're uh, they're kind of broken right now. That's the word, anyway. Bo doesn't say hi. Man, you have no idea how fast this darn chat has been moving. <clears throat> How's the live video going? I, I think pretty well. I don't know. I kind of have a biased opinion of how my live videos go. But, uh, but yeah, I don't think they're going too bad. Are the Axis Deer larger? They do seem larger, yes. And they should be, um, based off of what they've been telling us, so, so yeah. I don't really know where this, these darn Axis Deer have gone. There's one. Oh, three. That's a 30 out six. That's a pretty good size one there. Level three. What do, do Axis go to level three or do they go to level five? I assumed level five, but maybe they only go to level three. That's why I was wondering, Cooler Cactus. <laughs> this guy had some pretty big antlers, so I was like, uh... I don't know. I hope not level three. They go to five. Okay, thank goodness. Because I was I was kind of hesitant when I saw his antlers. I was like, that's a pretty good-sized dude. Good luck getting those diamonds. Hey, thank you, man. We will see. Yeah, look at this guy. He's pretty. They get much bigger than this, based off of the pictures we've seen. But he fell down in a neat way. Yeah, not bad. A little silver, not even a gold. That's pretty cool. I like that. I like that. Let's go. Are you in the African map? No, we're in a... This is like an Argentinian map, I think. Good old Parquet Fernando. Ah, oh, he's at 8.45. No, I was at, uh, I was at 8.39. Now I'm at 8.45. For some reason, uh, YouTube, like holds off on subscribers and then like come Monday morning or something like that it just like shows up all the so last I saw my my YouTube channel had like 8.39 thousand or something like that and then I woke up this morning and looked and it was like 8.44 or something like that and I was like wow that was fast <laughs> it just all of a sudden uh corrects itself or something like that They get wider. Oh, yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure they do. Okay, dokie. Well, we've shot some over there anyway. I'm not sure where we should go. Maybe we should go off in this direction. I always like this pond, but usually it was for uh, red deer and mule deer. I don't know. We'll see. Can't wait for Bo to experience the diamond axis. Yeah, I mean, from the pictures I've seen, they're pretty tall. They're pretty, pretty big old boys. Pretty wide and, and stuff, so should be quite a sight, don't you think? <laughs> Game just does not register the shot, huh? How was Smiley's this week and just got done with a round there? Oh, nice. What did you shoot, Nick? Because uh, I'll let you know. I'll let you know what my brother and I shot. Um, I beat Zachary by two, I think. Was it one or two? I can't remember. I birdied the last hole, and that really threw everything off. Um, okay, so we got some tracks here. They're going that way, though. That's not good. But yeah, Nick, that's what's going on, man. 
You know, you can change your name. If you go into your settings, you can change your name from Debbie to Nick. You know that? That would be very cool. Okay, there's a ton of tracks going in this way, so I'm like, uh, kind of... I'm wanting to follow them. Though they're kind of going all over the place right now. Where, where are you going? Oh. Now you're that way again. Okay. Oh. Anywho. Six level five axes deer today, and good evening. Yeah, well, what I've heard is that they're, uh, they're kind of broken, so that makes sense. But I thought we would just check them out and see. If we can find a level five, then right on. Uh, I'm not really sure what we'll do. We'll probably just pop it and then stop hunting axes deer. <laughs> Move on to something else for now until they get fixed, and then we'll uh, then we'll start hunting them again. There'd be some red deer off in that direction. There's a lot of tracks. They are all over the place. Two diamond pronghorns now. Should I grind for mountain goat or elk? Ooh, whatever sounds good, man. Uh, I've gotten a few mountain goats, so if you want to just get them over with, go ahead and, and try the mountain goats. We shot plus three. Well, dang, man. How about you not shoot a scramble, huh? How about you not do that? That way we can see what you shot. <laughs> but plus three is really good. So well done, man. Why are you stalking Megan? Stalking Megan? What? Golf talk is confusing. You're gonna miss the rest of the streams this week. What the heck? Why are you gonna do that? Why would you do that? Before going to sleep. Great stream so far. Hey, right on, fishing guy. Thanks for being here. There you go, Nick. You got it. Hunter L is here as well. How's it going, Hunter L? 42 America is here. Don't you listen one bit to those people saying the sky. Comrade Doge. Psh. What did you end up shooting? Oh, we shot um, shot an Axis deer a little while ago. Puma. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Psh, 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 psh. Oh, psh. this is how you know the game's fake. I did the universal cat call and it did not work. Well, there's two pumas. Psst, 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 psst. Come kitty. Whoa, he flew. Oh, he's coming for me. Psst, 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 psst. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Played there a few weeks ago and shot even. Oh, really? You shot even? You think so, huh? You think so, huh? What, with unlimited mulligans? Is that what you're doing? No, my brother and I definitely did not shoot even. Um, Zachary shot a 79, I think, and I shot a 77. So, not, not too shabby. In our books. Austin Murray is here. How's it going? Got the Puma. Get the Puma. We saw the Puma and we went to boom right into the lungs. We got a second Puma over here. 
When will you stream on Twitch? Every Thursday we stream on Twitch. 42 America. <clears throat> Axis deer are broken. One walked near you and didn't spook. Well, the ones we're hunting have been spooking, Henry. But, uh, but yeah. Who knows? Going off my luck, it's, it's quite possible that we'll never see a diamond. 38.7 there, really close to 39, the diamond score. Pretty cool. Mule deer. Which uh, should only go to level five now, evidently. Oh, there's a buck. Hello, hello, hello. Um, is there anything else? Ooh, another buck. Oh, just level three. Okay, we got a handful. Handful deer here, two, the two level threes. I, uh, I think I'll hold off shooting right now, seeing as though they're on the opposite side of the lake. We'll see what's over here before we start shooting again. Are Puma the same model as the mountain lion? Yes, indeed. Yes, they are. Get wrecked used to be good at golf, but now you're dog poo. Oh, that isn't true. Yeah. Sam. Yo, Sam. How's it going, Sam? Sam the man. Uh, with an N at the end. Doesn't rhyme as well, but, you know. It's the principle. The principle of it. Oh, red deer. I see you. Get ourselves a red deer here. You're Elk Slayer on Twitch. I got you. Okay. I'm with you now, bro. These boys be small. Oh. God dang it. <laughs> right as we shot... One of the one of the darn hinds raised their head and we nailed that hind in the head. Morgan Kobe. Bro, you good? I I feel good anyway. I feel good anyway. I don't know if I'm actually good, I don't know. <laughs> Bo, how goes it? It's going it's going alright. Can't complain too much. Man, I'm living life. Living life to the uh, the half halfway mark right now. You know, some people live it to the fullest. I am just gonna stop at halfway right now. Call it good. <sighs> Old life came to my door. They said, "I'm selling chocolate milk. Would you like some?" I said, "Yes, but only halfway." Is basically my motto right now. Looked to be about 300 yards, so we just shot at the top of the back, and boom. Boom goes the dynamite. You did bring your camera and your trail camera. Interesting. You play Fishing Planet today? Yes, indeed. Hey, see you later, fishing guy. Josh Haker, what time? What time? Once well, the first time, but every time he doesn't play, I get diamonds. Well, what the heck, man? Where's this deer? Go oh deer. Shouldn't there be a glowing body over here? Where's the glowing body? The ghost, it's a ghosty. There we go, I must have walked right past it. Oh jeez. That's okay. Oh God, we got it right in the neck. So I had to go on your PC. Hey, right on, get wrecked. 
BC Sam Joaquin Delta is your favorite place to fish in Fishing Planet. We'll ride on Jaden's place. Then this uh this second hour is gonna be awesome for you. I <laughs> got yeeted by a buffalo. Bo, oh, are you living like Larry? Like Larry? Larry is what we used to call Lawrence, Kansas. Um, so no, I'm not living like Lawrence, Kansas. Another mule deer. How far was that? Well, we uh, we nailed something at uh, 459 yards the other day. That was that was pretty good. I thought anyway. This one's 393. There we go. Easy peasy. Bare minimum effort. <laughs> there I was gone. I was helping hang the meat in the cooler. We'll ride on, man. Sounds like they need your help. Made your hockey team. Austin Murray, congrats, bro. Well done making the hockey team. Are you playing? I am playing. Zero idea how or why. That stinks. Hunter does stuff. His neck hurts. Is it from carrying? Is that is that like a thing you can say? My neck hurts from carrying this team. I don't I don't know. Do you get neck pain from carrying a team? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, Zachary's been playing Cold War quite a bit. What's your longest shot and call in the wild that you ever hit? I have no idea. Uh, I, the 459 yard one is like on my mind right now because that's just what I... We, we shot that the other day, so it's fairly recent. Um, but yeah. I don't get too many other chances to shoot further than that, honestly. So, yeah. That's probably... I'll just go with that, I guess. Usually every animal I find is uh, fairly close to me. I got five more zones. I need explanation. You need explanation? That's a big one. It's only a level three, too. And a red deer. Axis deer! God, that's a big three. It's a big three. This music though, you know, I always have such a tough time choosing music for uh for the hunter. When we're playing the hunter game, I don't know what music to play, but this is uh 1960s rock. What do you think? Is it is it hunter esque? <laughs> I never know. I never know. Okay, can we find a buck in here? Ooh, there's a buck. There's a buck. Ooh, there's two of them. There's a level four and another level four. Two level fours in this herd. This dude just running in circles. Oh, I tried shooting in front. Oh, we shot him with a 30 out six. Dang it. I keep forgetting that we can't shoot Axis Deer with the with the 30 out six. It's usually my go-to deer gun. I need to get used to uh Oh no. I had the buck spotted. We'll see if that did something with the other four there. All right, we got a level three mule deer up here and two level four axis deer, though I don't know if we got the two level fours. We will see. You should get Zach to stream it. I've been, I've been telling him that. I've been like, Zachary, seriously, 
You're an affiliate on Twitch. You win Warzone games all the time. O over the weekend, they won like seven times. I was like, people enjoy seeing wins on Warzone. Why don't you play it? That's a pretty, it's a pretty one. Um, why don't you play Warzone? Because people are going to want to watch someone who wins a lot. And, uh, and then on top of that, Cold, the Cold War thing just came out. Uh, why aren't you playing that? And yeah, I don't, I don't know what his deal is. I don't know what his deal is, man. Because you're a goalie. <laughs> the goalie is a big job, man. I used to play a lot of soccer, so uh, my, I had a friend... A lot of, I mean, soccer and hockey is kind of similar uh, positions and stuff like that as far as having a goalie and uh, people out in front forwards or something. And I'm not really sure. I don't really know all the positions of hockey, but but yeah, he's obviously our, our goalie. A lot of pressure, but uh, but yeah, he 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 was uh, he was all about it. He loved it. Takes a special person to want to be a goalie. What's your most favorite diamond? Ooh, that's a good that's a good question. Um probably where is this little four we shot? Probably the uh, death shows it being over here. Here's the blood. Gosh dang it, we shot at the 30 out six. It's still a pretty sizable to access deer though. Let's go see. See what it looks like. Um I don't know. I really like my uh the diamond elk that we shot the one time. Uh that one was pretty cool. And he's he is beautiful. A giant, giant dude. It looks really cool. Okay, here we go. Here's one of them anyway. What are you? Yeah. We got uh we got the intestines on him. Gosh dang it! So this is the thirty out six shot. Okay. Um, pretty decent antlers though. Pretty big and wide. Not too great on the brow tines there. Interesting. Let's go get this other guy. Did you miss anything, Red McCarty? Not too much. We've just been shooting some deer, man. Oh hello there. Aren't you a cutie? I'm gonna name you Fuzzball. Oh, geez, Fuzzball. Come on, man. And your name is Lynn, and your name is McCartney. Here we go. This is the other guy we shot, and he's lined up great for a photo. Even if he's not a diamond, we'll still take a photo. Might as well, you know. There we go. Didn't hit a vital organ there, but still pretty, pretty dear. 196.2 on its way to 217, but not there yet. Boy, this is a, uh, this is a four, five, six. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. This is a 10 point axis deer. Wowie zowie. That's a big one. That is a pretty one. Definitely has those brow tines that those, that other one was missing. So that's a pretty one for sure. Yep. Jaquavion, I know, bro. <laughs> Don't spam the messages or else you'll get timed out. Found another five axis. Found another one. Found, found another one. Hey there, found another one. Um, we're yet to find one. So we're, we're doing okay right now. Hello. I see, yeah. I hear you. I hear you all. Bryce Bendig, sorry you're late. What did you miss? Not too much. Bo needs some likes. <laughs> I got free tickets for FC Dallas games, and it was a great smirk. Hey, whoa, dang, bro. Well, that's awesome. Get wrecked. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty cool. Um, I think it's, what is it? The 49ers? Is it, is it the 49ers that have the, uh, the coach who's a, a woman? They have a, a woman coach. I think it's the 49ers. Right? 
Someone who knows football. Fill us in. Is it the 49ers? Sorry, this is all going to make sense. I just need someone to answer the question. Do I like Star Wars? Yes, indeed. I saw the stag, but the stag went under, over the hill. There he is. You get a butt shot. Sure, it's the 49ers. <laughs> Thank you, Megan. SportsTuber found this game kind of difficult for some reason. It takes a little bit to get used to um, at first. I remember playing this for the first time without really any direction. I didn't really know what was going on. Well, don't just, just take advantage of the situation, Tan Tan. Foxy the Pirate Fox. <laughs> when are you going to play Fishing Planet? We're going to play at uh, 8.30. So coming up here, 20, 24 minutes. So anyway, um, yeah, the, uh, the, the woman coach, I'm not sure. I can't remember what, what place she plays at. Jaden thinks it's, it's the Cleveland Browns right now. Uh, no, just water. Water with Mio tonight for the drink. Drink of the night. Um, anywho, a, uh, one of the gals who is in my fiance's graduating physical therapy class, she was a, uh, she was a, a World Cup, uh, soccer player for, uh, for, like, obviously the U.S., the U.S. World Cup team. So she played soccer for the U.S. World Cup team. I'm not sure which year it was, um, but she was in my fiance's class for physical therapy. But her uh, girlfriend was the sister of that coach that uh, that the, that is the coach in the NFL. I remember seeing her and I was like, "Wow, she is buff." And uh, Allison goes, uh, yeah, she plays football. And I was like, really? She's like a female football player. And she was like, yeah, she is. And her sister is a NFL coach. And I was like, really? That is insane. <laughs> so it's going to be one insane family. World Cup soccer player and NFL coaches. It's insane. Sports. Hashtag sports. Because you changed the username, he just found out. Well, goodness gracious, Bryce, what'd you do? 12-pound trophy channel cat today. Well, right on, Zach Cook. That's awesome, man. 12-pound trophy channel cat. That is sweet. Having some awesome guitar. Down, down, down. You need to play Among Us. Do I need to play Among Us, though? Let me tell you what happens in every single game of Among Us. A bunch of people do tasks on a ship. Two of them are imposters. And they try to kill off everyone before they get found out. Sometimes they get the imposters get found. Sometimes they don't. And that's the game. What would be what would be any different with me? Um. Sorry, I don't even have enough friends to play Among Us. <laughs> You're a Georgia fan, diss you. Well, then switch maps, Tantan. That way they're not in front of you anymore, silly goober. I'm just trying to find them at this point. That way we can see them in the stream before we switch to another thing. Though I tell you what, I've never really seen any Axis deer around this map anyway, so... Or around this lake, so... I don't think we have to worry about it too much. But I have found some good animals around here. So we'll just go see what we see. Yeah, old Dak Prescott. He uh, he had quite a deal happen to him, didn't he?
There we go. Sorry. PZ, you just walked past a deer. Did you see it? I've been walking past all sorts of deer, man. So she plays football and soccer? No. Her girlfriend played football. She was the one who played soccer. So they both played two different sports. And the one who played football is also the sister of the NFL coach. So it's crazy. Crazy, man. Twenty minutes in, Morgan. Colby Whiteman, what's up? Did you miss anything? Not a whole lot, man. Not a whole lot. We're just hunting around, waiting for 8.30 so that we can uh, switch on over to uh, to the fishing, fishing planet. Just to name it Dak. <laughs> you know what this looks like to me? This looks like a Dak. I'm going to name him Dak. Gavin Ober, what did you miss? Not a whole lot, man. We've shot a few nice looking level four axis deer, but evidently they're, uh, they're level five axis deer everywhere, but uh, we haven't found them. You got a 15 pound carp in May on a plastic top water frog. My goodness gracious. They must have thought that it was a, uh, a tasty bite to eat, evidently. There's some mule deer. Come on, level five. We'll be level five. Level three, level three. Bunch of level threes. There's a level four anyway. No level five though. Oh, there, oh, there's a water buffalo. Found some water buffalo. Love you, dog, from Virginia. Hey, thanks, man. Appreciate it. The blow up was huge. <laughs> what is the Axis Deer drink time? That's a good question. Um, burp, 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 burp. I have 4 to 8.30 a.m. and 6 to 9.30 p.m. That's what I got on my sheet anyway. Okay, so we got some level threes over here. That's the level four right there. Let's get him. Let's get him, shall we? Gosh dang it. Ah! The, the freaking deer that keep getting in front of each other. Amazing. 20 minutes in the video. What? Farming Simulator, I feel like you would enjoy it. Sports Super, I do. Yeah, I've played Farming Simulator uh, multiple times. I've actually start like, I've actually thought of starting uh, a series on Farming Simulator multiple times, and uh, and I've like started filming the first episode, and then I just get overwhelmed uh, in thinking about how much editing I'm gonna have to do. And, uh, and I'm already playing other games, and so it's just like, eh, I don't know. The server was doing Axis Deer drinking, so I had to look. Goodness gracious. Silver Ridge Peaks. You can find Mule Deer at Silver Ridge Peaks. Come on. <laughs> okay, here we go. We got a couple different Muley over here. Well, I loved your vid about your great-grandpa. Well, thanks, man. Appreciate it. I thought that was a pretty good little, little episode there. If I do say so myself, I don't know. I enjoyed it anyway. I enjoyed it, and I that was my first uh, couple of warmoth that I caught. It was my first warmoth I've ever caught, so that was pretty cool. 239 there, pretty cool. Let's see if we get charged by a water buffalo. Finally caught the dendrofin. You caught it Saturday. Well, right on, dude. That's awesome. That is, uh, 
I tell you what, you can be fishing for that dendrofin for a long time before you catch it. Um, but I mean, what do I know? I've never caught it, right? Or have I? Guess you'll have to wait till later on in this, uh, this month of October to find out. Who is better, Michael Jackson or Elvis? You know, it just depends on what mood I'm in. I like both of them. Um, but sometimes I'm, I'm in more of a Michael Jackson move and other times I'm in a, I'm in a Elvis mood. So it just depends. Hard to say, really. Um, yeah. Between the mule deer and the water buffalo, it's rather, uh... Rather disappointing over here. There's really not too much, really not too much to uh, write home about. A couple more does over here. Level five and a level five again. Level five and a level five again. Six to nine thirty p.m. Right? Pretty sure, right? Is that what I said? Um, 4 to 8.30 and 6 to 9.30 p.m. Just shot an albino axis. Well, dang, Landon James. Well done, man. While we're over here, I'm going to grab this outpost real quick, just so I have it. Might as well get it. How are you? Can't you stop that? Because I do not know you to stop. Morgan Kobe, what did that mean? Five medium axis deer and it was the first axis deer he spotted and I was sad, but it was good and I laughed. Well, right on. I think you're gonna find, right now anyway, I think you're gonna find quite a few level fives from what I've been hearing. But, uh, but we need to, uh, we need to change. We need to change locations. Once I get this outpost, we'll move on back and uh, change the time again so that we can catch the axis deer around the lakes and uh, hopefully go find them. Find them again. Though we only have 12 more minutes, so we're going to have to be quick. We're going to have to be quick about it. Morgan, I, I don't know what you're talking about. You've said this multiple times. I don't know. That girl was saying, I'm 20 minutes in it, Morgan. It's, I don't understand what you mean, 20 minutes in it, Morgan. It doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. I don't get it. I'm sorry. I'm trying to be helpful. <laughs> but, it, but it just doesn't make any sense. Your last name is Presley. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, we have to get a flagpole. For some reason, I thought we would sleep in the bed. To get it, I don't know. Cole Starkey still waiting for my game to update. Oh, uh, dang! I got you. All right, we're going to. Oh, let's just sleep here first. Uh, we're gonna do five oh five, five oh five. Actually, that's too early. Sorry. I can't see anything. It's too early. Do 6.05. That'll give us two hours. Okay, moving on back down here. And I think we're going to move down to the east and try to look for stuff. Green Day tattoo. What? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I like Def Leppard. Yeah, I like Def Leppard too, Watcher. And Hank Williams. <laughs> Can you upload this stream when it's done because I have to go soon? Austin Gaming, yes. That is the one thing about YouTube is that uh, every live stream gets turned into a video anyway. So you'll definitely be able to check it out later. Gearhead Dipper. Whoa. 
Thank you for the subscribe. Appreciate it, man. But yeah. In the video. Yeah, I, I still don't know what you're talking about, Morgan. What what video are you talking about? I don't know what video. You know I've made... What is it? 307, 308 videos on the channel? Which video are you talking about? And if it's not one of my channels, then why are we talking about this? <laughs> when is Fishing Planet starting? Evan Teal, best place for live level 15 to fish for money and XP. Um, sports tuber with a subscribe. Hey, thank you so much, sports tuber. Um, level 15, probably. Let's see. I think it, uh, I think it would be Naharan, right? You get Naharan at level. Is it maybe I'm thinking of, um, Maybe Emerald Lake would be the best place to go. Aiden Harmon, go after diamonds. Ugh. Why didn't you say so? This whole time I've been looking for silvers. This game is so difficult. What the heck? I've seen so many diamonds. I've been passing them by. Jaden plays, goodness gracious, just now with the subscribe. <laughs> I look at all the diamonds and I'm like, oh, I'm looking for silvers though. No, kidding. Yeah, obviously we're, we're hunting for diamonds. That's kind of the point of the game. Hey, if for some odd reason you wanted to turn, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't mind it. I'm kind of excited. My, uh, the, the music website that I use, um, has like an entire playlist for Halloween right now. So I'm kind of excited to uh, see. Oh. Oh, I'm not sure about that. That looked like it might have gone in the stomach. <laughs> now you did Cabell's Pro Hunts. Good game. Yes, indeed, Bryce Bendick. It was a pretty decent game. It's a it's a pretty game, you know, for when it came out. And, uh, and they used Need Zones in that one, too, uh, which I really liked. You know, it, it was nice to see a game put a focus on, you know, being the hunter that understands that the deer are going to be in this location uh, in the morning, in this location in the evening, and everything like that. Like, that was really cool to me. Carson Murphy's back right on. There's our black buck. I like the new logo, BZ. Hey, thank you. The old Halloween logo, I'm guessing. Well, 25, it was just over gold. anyone else so yeah <laughs> very true squish When are we going to start fishing, everyone? I feel like every time I say that, I feel like that uh, that scene where Leonidas is asking the Spartans what their profession is. What is your profession? And then they just they just scream, "Oh!" As if that's a word. It's not. It's not. Hunting Simulator 2 is better, Jack Fissel. Better than Hunting Simulator 1, I totally agree. 
you should go car fishing. Ooh, you are going to be happy about what we're going to do here soon. Probably 10 diamonds on your map. It's just you, you aren't in the spot. Yeah, probably so. Wouldn't surprise me. Uh, we just honestly, I haven't gotten all the outposts and everything for this area yet, so don't know where everything is. <laughs> Die trash. Have you ever heard of the singer Meatloaf? No, I have not. Your birthday is on November 17th. Well, right on, man. Your Coleman Vision Bull vid was fire. Hey, thank you. Appreciate it. It really it really means a lot that so many people like that. Each time someone tells Bo to play Vision Plant, the stream ends a minute sooner. <laughs> Colin Bachtel, love your stuff. Keep it up. Hey, thank you, man. Appreciate it. I was really thinking we would see herds of Axis deer out here. I remember when I played Parquet Fernando for the first time, I believe I was out here and uh, and I not only did I find Axis deer, but I also found a great Puma out here, which I thought was really cool. Oh, there's a red deer. The song's getting a little jazzy, isn't it? 827, 827. How about the Seahawks game last night? How did the Seahawks do? I don't get to watch a lot of football games anymore. Usually I'm busy doing other things. I might watch a review or something of the game afterwards. The next day, if anything. Hey, we found a bunch of black buck, though. That one right there has got some pretty decent horns. I'm just trying to... There we go. It's a level four. kind of pretty that they're out there. They kind of got this silhouette because of the the sun behind them and everything. Just wish that we would just see that level 5 pop up. Punto a lago. Wade Goswig. I found this channel a few days ago and I have liked every single video I've watched. Hey, thank you so much, Wade. Appreciate it. And Isaiah Tucker is here. Hello, Isaiah. All of your vids are fire. Evan Teal. Gonna give me a big head, man. <laughs> You're a great YouTuber, best hunting and fishing gamer ever. Cool, oh, man. Oh, man, Bryce. Appreciate it, dude. Let's go get wrecked. Well done, man. They won by one point, huh? You should get a fishing planet tattoo. Whoa, I don't know about that. <laughs> well, uh... Yeah, that level four right there is pretty decent, little fella. We might uh, shoot this guy to end it. How about... How about that? Once he looks up here. Not sure. Didn't get the heart anyway. Let's go see where we shot him. Shoot fish in the Hunter Call of the Wild. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not big on shooting fish. I'm not, I'm not big. I know that I might be in a minority there. And uh, I know a lot of people are always like, 
bow fishing it takes a lot of skill and is very difficult and all of this stuff about bow fishing but I don't I don't really call it fishing it's just shooting fish with a bow and reeling them in <laughs> but you know that's part of being in the minority I suppose there's also people who go fishing for silver carp by going over them in a boat and then having them land in the boat and knocking them out. And I don't call that fishing either, so. Just full of unpopular opinions, I suppose. Alrighty, where's this dude that we shot? I see his death circle. Is that what we should call them? Death circles? I see his death circle. David Probus is here with all the hubsters. Camzillatron, how's it going? I hear Zachary repping the base back there. Bleed rate very low, that's not good. <laughs> but we are running out of time, so we went for it. It is time for time, my brothers. We shall fish. It is time, my brothers. Time for fishing. Where's the dead? There he is. That's him. We found him. All right. Pretty decent sized antelope here. Hello. Hello. 26.8 right there. How, how big is that? 26.8, is that? Could we, could we have found something here? 26.8. Uh, Twenty-six point eight divided by 28.3 is 94.6%. Holy camoly. That is 0.4% off. That is crazy. 94.6% on this black buck. Pretty decent sized dude though, and I love the horns. Those are awesome. We'll accept him, and then uh, it's time to move on, everyone. Time to move on, which means a change in music as well. So uh, yeah, here we go. Let's uh, let's let's close out a fish. Uh, the hunter call the wild. Sam, 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 Sam the man. All right, bringing up fishing planet here. Fishing planet. Fishing planet. <sighs> When's the wedding, Bo? The wedding is November 14th. Got me to start playing fishing planet. Well, right on, Isaiah Talker. Right on, right on. Black screen, turn into fishing planet. Go. There we go. At 10,000 subs, you should get a mullet. Or maybe I'll just shave all my hair off. Both are equally fun. <laughs> let's just do neither of them. How about that? Okay, everyone. Let's see here. We've got some stuff on these ones. There was one thing I wanted to get. What was it? Oh, I remember. I remember. Um, It was that I was out of hot spices method. Oh, I was out of the hot spices method. Ground bait. Hot spices method. Hot spices method. Hot Honey citrus, that sounds good. Hot spices. There we go. Okay, I think we should be good. I think, anyway. I just got a bunch of stuff, so... Hope this is good. Molasses caramelized. Dang. Okay. Okay, I think we're good on aromas. I just want to make sure I had enough. Okie dokie. So we're heading out to uh, San Joaquin, everyone. I love this place. This is a this is a fun map. And uh, if you haven't been here yet, because uh, you're not high enough level or something like that, 
then uh, then I understand because it's it's kind of you gotta have kind of a high level to go there. You know what I mean? Level 34, San Joaquin. Let's go. I hope I have everything. I hope I have everything that I need. Did you ever see spear fishing before? Uh, I mean, yeah, like in a native sort of way, out in like the Amazon or something. <laughs> David Probus is great, good. What's your PB in real life fishing? You know what? I actually have an FAQ video of going out, going out about that, so I don't want to ruin it. You'll just have to uh, sit in suspense, I suppose. Okie dokie, everyone. Well, I tell you what. Let's. Uh, I guess we can kind of fish this for a little bit here. Let's let's go out. Let's go out. Oh, you have big brain. Big brain. Absolutely not, the Watcher. But I don't think about playing with anyone, so that's okay. That's 10 days after my birthday. Awesome stuff, Bo. Oof. Dang. Dang, what good timing. There's a person floating in front of me. Oh, he's on a boat. Okay, we're good. Hello, Great Con 4. I'm going to switch over to a uh, friend's room here. Titan Slayer 21, how's it going? And 42 America's going fishing. Where are you fishing tonight? Yeah, Joaquin. Joaquin Delta, man. Alrighty, let's go here. We're going to throw this uh, rod stand out. This is actually a pretty crazy uh, spot here. And I tell you what, I actually forgot to buy something. I was actually going to spend bait coins on something that I really wanted. But uh, you know what? We're just going to have to... Have to call off for now. Um, let's throw on this old deal here, and then we're gonna mix together some components. First component, uh, the hot spices method. Let's see here. I'm not really sure how much we wanna put in. 15, that's 22 ounces. That should be plenty. Um, now we're gonna put some of this in. I'm not really sure what to put in here. Let's just do, oh, okay. That, that much, I guess. And we're gonna mix this together. We'll see how this does, I suppose. Still called empty recipe. I haven't learned how to uh, name it something, so that's okay. <laughs> Okie dokie. So now that we have that all mixed up, we're going to uh, go down here to our empty recipe. We're gonna apply it onto the method feeder. And uh, yeah, we're gonna throw it out. Throw it out in that direction. Boop, 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 boop. Right there is the spot. We're gonna switch music here once we uh, to get this out. Cause uh, this music is okay, but it's not great. Bop, 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 bop. Oh! What's amazing about the method mix is that it's just, it's like near instant. Like the fish just, just go for it. And I think it's because, um, like the, the carp here, the common carp are supposed to be like so simple to catch. You can catch them on just like corn and peas that, uh, that once you actually have a method set up, like it's just super easy to catch them. So, uh, unfortunately the, the only thing that makes it super difficult to fish for carp with a method feeder and everything at this level is that the largest leader, which you're forced to use a carp leader, the largest one that you can get is 25 pounds. Um, so you're pretty much forced to fight with any fish that weighs around 25 pounds or more. So that's, that's, yeah, that's the only thing really. But uh, it is really fun to catch carp. It's just like in real life. <sighs> the best fishing planet. Gotta go. Austin Gaming is out of here. It sounds good, Austin. Take care, man. Gaming is playing fishing planet right now. We'll right on. Just saw on Facebook that someone got a great one reindeer from Medved Taiga. Really? Interesting. I didn't see in the patch notes that a great one was added. So that would be that would be interesting, Sharon. Was there a picture? <laughs> see, now you're now you're gonna make me go and look at the patch notes again. Uh, 
do do do. Yeah, there's there's nothing in the patch notes about a great one, as far as I could see right there. But there's our first uh, common carp here, 16 pounds, 16.746 pounds. We can see what it looks like next to Heenil. Um, he's just standing up with it. It's not even that heavy. He's just like, eh, whatever, 16 pounds. Uh, pretty cool, though, $1,000 pretty quickly. Uh, let's get this thrown back out here, and then we will uh, throw it back out. So each time you use the method mix, he uh, he fills it back up um, onto the method feeder. Then you throw it back out there. And it hits the bottom, and you put it into your rod stand. Okay, let's finally get something going on here. Um... Ooh, there we go. There we go. Got another fish here. Ooh, that one was had us anchored there for a little a little bit. You know, I think it would honestly at this at this level, I think it would honestly be too much to have two rods. Because it's just it's just near constant. You throw it out there and you wait like twenty to thirty seconds, and there's a fish on. So uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, we're not even spotting and stuff like that, so um, haven't even gotten to the point where we have to spot. My Dracula, jeez, <laughs> that was intense, Megan. Great one, reindeer has been an ongoing glitch. Ah, okay. Cold deeds on the case. He knows what's up. That carp gonna die. Go, but I'll watch the rest of it when you turn it into a video. Hey, right on, Wade. That'll work for me, man. Yeah, pretty much right after this video at 9:30, it'll turn into a uh, video for you to watch. So, anytime after that, will be fine. But I'm playing NHL right now to ten thousand dollars fishing NHL right now to ten thousand dollars okay and we see the fish types yes of course I'll show them right after I get this carp in here seems like Bo is not seeing my comments today what are you talking about I read a, I read your great one reindeer thing you silly goober King Doge is here. Whoa, that carp just ramped off that grass. <laughs> See it out there. Do you think carp is worth it? Uh, do I think carp is worth it? Um, I mean, they, they pay a decent amount. Uh, well, that last one was 16 pounds and we got paid a thousand and something. So not a one to one ratio, um, but still pretty decent. Um, I still think that their ratio is better than catfish and stuff like that. So should be pretty cool. So my phone be back. Hey, sounds good. Get wrecked. What reel are you using? We are using... I'll have to show you here in a bit. Once I get this carp in, we will look at the type of fish that are at San Joaquin Delta. And uh, and there you can see that it's, it's a dorsal fin sticking out there. And um, it's a pretty decent sized guy. Guessing he's around 30 some pounds or more. Um, but yeah, we'll look at the fish that are in San Joaquin Delta. And then we will uh, take a look at my gear I'm using right now. Zach Cook, what are you fishing for? We're fishing for carp at the moment. Fishing for carp, and uh, we'll probably go try to catch some striped bass before too long. And uh, yeah, we might throw a rod out in the evening for uh, something else, something a little bit bigger, but uh, no, no promises, I suppose. Wish I could leave Deaver with the River Monsters guy on TV.
I'm digging this song though. Don't know what you mean, Sharon. First common carbon fishing plant of today. Well, right on, Leaf. That's awesome. You are the best, my bro. Well, thank you, Morgan. Kind of toxic tonight. That must be a serious car. Bad boy is fighting. Very true. Oh, we see him. We've made contact. He's breached the surface. Whoa. Just like carp in real life, once they uh, once they see you on the side of the river, they oh they always seem to like freak out and want to swim extra hard again. <laughs> That's why I've seen I've seen people like uh, they wait to put the net in the water till like the last second. I'm guessing because the carp will see the net and freak out and start pulling again. Um, so that, that is kind of interesting. Oh yeah, that's a pretty decent little guy here. Oh yeah, that's a heavy mama. Let's go, our first unique common carp. Are you kidding me? That is insane. Oh my goodness gracious. I didn't even catch one of these in the freaking beginner series video. So I'm super jelly right now that I couldn't catch it on the regular video. <laughs> that is a ginormous carp. Holy crap. That is awesome. Look at him freaking swing, dude. That is awesome. Let's look at what uh what Hinil thinks about this. Oh, Hinil, look at you, man, with your carp. With your carp, buddy. There we go. Nice little picture there. And uh, now we'll hide that and move the camera over just a tad. Beautiful. Beautiful. I like those buildings in the background. It's kind of cool. That is awesome. Well done, he -nil. 1,415 experience. We got him, everyone. We got him. Um, the unique common carp here at San Joaquin Delta, 36.742 pounds, $2,625, 42 inches long. That's crazy. Almost 43 inches long. That is a giant fish. That is so cool. And, uh, and the models for the carp are just, they're, they're amazing. They're beautiful. The amount of detail they've put into the, the carp models is just awesome. So we'll keep that guy. That is awesome. Well done. Claps to everyone. That's better. It was five minutes behind. <laughs> yes, indeed. Got the emotes going. That's right. So, everyone, that's a, that's a pretty good start there. I mean, uh, I didn't expect to get a unique, but uh, yeah. Didn't take very long, did it? And uh, that method feeder mix, I, you saw it. We were just catching them one after another. I mean, it was just fish after fish after fish. Um, we're going to switch to a different area now. And, uh, and we're gonna fish, uh, I'm trying to decide what we're gonna fish with, though. Um, uh, guessing, I didn't see what the weather is. It's partly cloudy, okay. We're gonna switch on over to this dam now, which is another kind of cool location. Uh, we got the running water in the background, which is kind of cool. I had surgery today for my gallbladder removal and lots of pain right now. Well, Sharon Riss, I hope you're doing okay. I hope you're, you're healing up fast, you know? But it's uh, it sounds like it's a, it's a good thing you got it got it done and over with. And uh, this is where I got my first unique striped bass. But uh, I actually caught another one in a different location. At some point, I just stopped marking them because I know I know the general area. Fourteen hundred and fifteen XP. Wow, <laughs> so true, David. And all, I had all sorts of stitches managed my mouth. My goodness gracious, Megan. 
Hinail is the strongest man alive. <laughs> so true. Smasher Trash is back. Did we get anything cool? Oh, you literally missed something very cool. Timothy Descoteau is level 57. We'll ride on, Timothy. Got a unique red here yesterday. He was a Mondo. Mondo. He was a very fat fish. <laughs> those uh those sunfish, those big sunfish, they just look they just look so fat. It's crazy. Like little balloons with uh, fish features. <laughs> uh Oh, now fish type. Yeah, let me just reel this in real quick. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I forgot to show off the gear and the fish types. I got you, Cooler Cactus. I got you. <laughs> That's right. I totally forgot. Look at this beautiful darn behind me. I don't want to be cursing or anything. It's a beautiful darn. Okay, so we have the uh, bluegill, of course, California roach, Chinook salmon, the common carp, which you see goes to unique there. Um, uh, uh, a reddier sunfish also goes to unique. Smallmouth bass, steelhead goes to unique. Ooh. Excuse the yawn. Striped bass to unique as well. White catfish, a new one there. Uh, white crappie and white sturgeon. So uh, lots of stuff. Lots of cool fish, that's for sure. And, uh, gosh dang it. So just to show off my gear I'm using right now, I'm not using anything in my one slot, but I have the River Tech Zeus. Goes up to 42 pounds on the rod there. 35 pound on the reel, uh, which is the Gars and Glory rod. Um, I'm still using that that we got from Henry Grobelar. So thank you to Henry. I don't think he's here right now, but hey, still there. Um, and then we got, um this fluorocarbon which is where is it 33.9 pounds so pretty strong stuff for uh, using lures and whatnot um this is the bottom feeding rod it's got worms on there um i was fishing for catfish i think maybe i'm not really sure um here's the carp rod again uh it's the mega chuver 13 foot 2 to 37.5 pounds here and then uh the max drag on the reel goes to 36 and the line that we're using is 33.9 pounds, but as I said, the carp leader that I can use at this level is only 25 pounds. So uh, it's it's rather weak. So I have to have a, a giant fight with every carp I catch, even even if it's uh, not that much bigger <laughs> than everything, and, and, and the reel and the rod's already very big. Um, and then lastly, we have the cat boxer eight foot six here with the crawfish on there. The uh, the cat boxer going to forty seven point four pounds. Obviously, a pretty heavy rod there. Um, leader forty one pounds. Uh, X series fluoro going to forty four pounds, and the uh, the reel is the ambusher eighty five hundred which uh, has a max drag of 46.2 pounds. So a uh, pretty strong setup here, fairly strong anyway, for uh, the level I'm at. So I think think it's a pretty good start. I know that uh, in a while we'll unlock some better stuff, but for now this is this is pretty good. What is your favorite number, like ever? Favorite, uh, favorite number of all time? <laughs> BZ, gonna go, love you, have to be safe. Slay the big one. Hey, RVA Fisherman, thank you so much. Let's uh let's catch a let's catch a bigger one. Yeah, exactly. Why don't you uh, send him a Snapchat or something? So here is something I learned about the crankbait. If you so this is a six foot crankbait. Um, right now it's pretty much going through the entire depth. But uh, if you just hold down the uh, crankbait and then walk back and forth it will move the crankbait up and down which is amazing because the one thing i hate about the crankbait especially the ones that go super deep is that uh you can't control there we go we got a fish goodness gracious a big one um is that you can't control the the depth very well unless you stop reeling in which is super annoying because I don't want to stop reeling in. it's it, it goes to 23 feet every time I click. Got a striped bass here. Nice little striped bass. Nothing special, just a regular one. But hey, it's our first striped bass, man. 
You're level 27. Where should you go to fish to make decent money? Level 27. Where should you go? Um, you know, I would continue fishing uh, Everglades until you have enough money that you can head to uh, St. Croix with a few different uh, bottom rods or, or float rods. Um, to fish for pike with the shiners. That should be your goal right now. Get get two or three different uh, float and bottom rods and then head to St. Croix is what I would recommend, sports tuber. Can you try and catch a sturgeon? Absolutely. Absolutely. We've got some time. We've still got half an hour. I thought we would try and catch one more striped bass um, or something while we're over here. And then we can we can change. Leave divers, leave divers. Sorry, love your vids. Hey, thank you so much. Literally throw hands. <laughs> Kansas, Texas, Louisiana, or Tennessee to hunt some monster deer. Yeah, unfortunately, there's a uh, there's a lot of leasing going on in Kansas right now. A lot of people who have places to hunt. Um, who used to allow people in the area to hunt there are now selling the hunting season to wealthy people in Texas or something like that. Um, which, you know, is a great way to save some money. You know, if they can, they're not hunting and they're just allowing their friends to hunt there, you know, to make uh, $2,000 from some Texan that wants to come and hunt in Kansas and might not even hunt anything or, or shoot anything. Um, that's 2,000 bucks, you know? So, I understand it. It's just kind of annoying. Can you go through it again? Ha ha. <laughs> Where is San Joaquin? It's in, it's in California. California. You should get a bowl cut. Yes. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. All right. Sounds good, Sharon. Hey, there we got a fish. It's a small one, though. What about level 17? Level 17... Um... I can't recall when you unlock... Uh... The Everglades. But I'm pretty sure um, I was fishing uh, Naharan or something like that. Not really sure. I'm trying to remember. I'm like, try this is all off memory instead of actually looking at what it is. Could you do or do you have a video on how to use the bottom rods? I do not have a video on that. I just have like uh, the beginner series where I use them, I guess. I don't have one like showing how that would kind of be a good video is just showing how showing you how to set up your rods I guess depending upon what you're using or the type of rod you're using wouldn't be a bad idea man definitely have to do something like that in the future Rodney A is here right on <laughs> yeah. My brother could say the same thing about punching himself because, you know, when we were kids, you know, it, it, it's terrible. You know, I would I would grab his fist or I would grab his wrists and then, you know, move it into his cheek and then and then ask him, why are you hitting yourself? And then, and then move it into his cheek again and say, you know, why are you hitting yourself? And just keep doing that repeatedly. And, you know, it, it comes a point looking back where it's just like, Zachary, why were you hitting yourself? Um, goodness gracious. Uh, I don't know what his deal was. So, I had his own jokes. He has to pull the car over to calm down. Goodness gracious. It's photographed, dear. Now we're talking. <laughs> Now we're talking. So we're not really catching much uh, right now. I think I'm gonna switch the time to let's do let's do 7 p.m. 
We'll do 7 p.m. and then uh, we'll switch on over to that island again. Set up our uh, rod stand again. What I recommend is doing something like so. And then you can, uh, you can take your carp rod. Actually, we're going to throw the other rod out there first, simply because the carp rod catches carp super fast. And we're going to throw this over yonder. How about right there? Do you like the new Axis deer? I think they're pretty. I think they got pretty antlers. And, uh, there's, they're getting, I mean, they're, they're, they're like, they're more like the ones in real life now anyway. I don't know how they were so off to begin with, but, uh, it's like they, they decided to do it and then just like forgot about it and just moved on. <laughs> kind of crazy that they haven't been, uh, tweaked until now, you know? Yeah, right on. Can you play Fishing Planet or Call of the Wild the longer without getting bored? Are you asking which one I could play longer without getting bored? Um, I'm not, I'm not really sure. I mean, I've played a lot of Fishing Planet. See what I mean? I mean, it's just constant. So I pretty much just watch it, and once the uh, once the line and the rod starts moving, then I know I have a fish on. The what I think is that. This rod holder is sensitive if there's a fish on it, but I think that when there's a carp rod equipped in the rod holder, I think it's extra sensitive. Um, and I don't know, I don't know the specifics behind it, but uh, I mean, it will tell me about bites that haven't even happened yet. Uh, I swear, it's like the fish is just tapping on it, and this thing is like beeping away. Um, so I'll just wait until the line actually like goes basically and then I'll know that there's actually a fish on there because there have been times where I've thrown it out there it's beeped at me and I pick it up and there's not even a fish on there I mean and it'll be it'll go beep 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 and then stop and then go beep 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 again and you're thinking okay there's definitely a fish on there and there's not it's just oh my god it's just constant the carp are just constant it's crazy you hear geese on my fishing plane you, yeah there is geese here that's true they fly over See what I mean? That was just a little tap there. It didn't actually take the, the hook. So it's kind of crazy. What do you do at level 57? I don't know. Good question. Guess you'll have to wait till I put out a beginner series video about it. <laughs> Why he was hitting himself in a gen genuinely curious... I know, Smash the Trash. I don't, I don't get it. All right, we got one on here. Pretty small again. Woke up not too long ago. Well, what were you doing, huh? Really, Megan? I did not know that. Getting them to try and lick their elbows is funny too. <laughs> now there's small common carp here. 10 pounds there. There, it's like getting closer to my biggest one in real life. <laughs> that one looked smaller than, than the one that caught in real life. <laughs> Should we try the other side? Let's try it. Let's try this side. <gasps> Ooh, mixing it up. Jamie Pye Thompson, you got me into fishing plan. I can't play hunting games. I got a broken hand. Oh no, that's terrible. Well, fishing plan is perfect for that because it is kind of just you know you kind of just wait around and, and then once you get one, then you you reel it in. So at least this type of fishing, you know, if you're doing a lot of lures and stuff, I could see how it could be a little more hands-on, literally. So, but yeah, sounds like you've got it figured out. Do you have a piggy bank? I, I, I technically do. It's a, uh, it's a Deadpool, a Deadpool bank though. You can see it down there, can you? No, the microphone's in the way. See it right there? 
Right there, where I'm pointing. That's him. And he's actually fairly heavy. He has a lot of change in him. <laughs> I bought it when I worked at a, a comic book store. So I'm not sure about this uh, this side of this uh, grass here. We haven't had a bite yet. And usually the bites are pretty constant. King Doge just wanted to help you out. Keep it up. Hey, thank you so much, King Doge. I really appreciate it. Try using the spawn sack for sturgeon. You know Jaden's plays. I, I really would if I had it in my inventory, but I don't. So if anyone else, uh, you know, tries to give the tip to use spawn sack, you let them know that I don't have it. A man bun. Oh my gosh. Your ears hurt from the rod sand. Yeah, the beeping is kind of loud. <laughs> Four sisters sell so two of them. I have a kid now. One of them lives with my grandma to help her since my pop died. And then I have my twin. Yeah, dang. I did not know that. That's crazy. Get the bed now and see if the resting helps. Here we go. We got a little action there with the carp rod. You think on Discord the screenshot of the Great One Reindeer is legit or not? I can almost guarantee it's not legit. Just because they always said that if they ever put a Great One out, they would talk about it in the status update, and they didn't. So I'm, I'm assuming it's not real, you know? And there's really not anything that special about it. Just looks like a regular reindeer. When is the last time you fished mud water? Last night. If we want to be specific. <laughs> Can we see the doggy? I don't know where he is, honestly. We got some beeping. Got to run, so bye, but see you in the next one. Hey, see you later, Sam. Thanks for being here, man. Tell you what we can do while we wait. We can throw this out. Try to get try to get lucky with a bite here. Old fashioned record player. That's cool. Hey, there we got fish. Something anyway. What do you think we caught? Steelhead or a Chinook? What are we thinking? Oh my goodness gracious. I think it's right here. Looks like a steelhead. Maybe not though. It is a steelhead. We got him. Little steelhead. Literally getting tinnitus from the rod stand. My goodness gracious, tinnitus? Call Bjorn. I don't have his phone number though. Nice channel cats at mud water. Yeah. <laughs> Bjorn is on a zoom call with Toby with Toby I'm, I'm kind of annoyed that this uh, rod is not getting actually taken come on take it take the bait Do you watch The Office? Uh, I watched all of The Office episodes and I no longer watch it anymore. Instead of the bat phone, does he have the Bjorn phone? We might, we what, we might call it that. <laughs> that's probably, that's pretty good.
My goodness gracious, this is the smallest carp we've caught so far. Look at this. It's ridiculous. Oh, it got off due to low line tension. It was so small that when it came out of the water, it flipped off. That is crazy. Okay, I think we're going to stick to the left side. Because uh, the right side wasn't too great. Just, uh, it's amazing. It's amazing how fast that stuff works. Ooh, got hit by something there. Beep, 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 beep. The bait was pulled too far away. The fish is gone. What do you mean by that? Beep, 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 beep. Saved it for the stream. Oh, man. Have you caught any sturgeon there? We we haven't this, this episode anyway. There it goes. Look at that. That was some rod bend there, wasn't it? decent size so I'm guessing uh, mid 20s maybe iPhone problems I have a hand-me-down iPhone you look at the battery and it dies I understand <laughs> just I don't even look at the battery anymore I actually put a little put a little uh, not glue on but a stick on a little stick on circle that covers it up so I'd never see it a pixel oh my gosh this dude's pulling us out now last time I had a fish pull me out I thought oh my gosh this could be unique I reeled it in after fighting with it for like five minutes and it was like 26 pounds I was like what ow it was such a letdown quite in one of the ponds I fish often back at home it's taken a lot of self not to try and catch it I don't even know what I'd do with it. I'd probably put, put it back. Yeah, I refuse to catch koi. Um, I don't know. It'd be like uh, catching someone's goldfish in their little backyard pond or something. I don't know. Like, I just think like, what happens if? it accidentally gets hooked in a bad place and like bleeds out and dies or something like I would feel so bad so I just avoid it altogether won't try to fish for a koi won't fish for goldfish obviously but yeah god there's 35 pounds to try and beat that as a goal I already beat it trombonus we beat it earlier today. 36 pounds, man. Roger Crows, how's it going? And with the walleye and emerald, the three plus pounders were coming in no problem. The two and a half pound walleyes were fighting like they weighed 100 pounds. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I bet this dude's like 32 pounds, though. Did you miss the hunting? Yes, unfortunately. Can I fish for the surgeon in Florida with bottom time? I don't know if their setup is big enough or not. 
Yeah, there's there's no sturgeon in Florida, unfortunately. 23 pounds, did I call it? I called it at first, goodness gracious. It's that they, they fight so much and they only weigh 20 and some odd pounds. It's crazy. They're not big, but they still fight forever. Okay, let's uh, fill that back up. Oh, in California. Can you fish room with bottom snipers? Yes, of course. In fact, that's, I mean, I would recommend that. They eat off the bottom, so uh, it would be very difficult with a float rod. Oh my goodness. Ospreys are big birds. Where did that come from? Lots of carp. Caden Sears, how many diamonds in the Hunter? I th I'm pretty sure that the diamonds are just unlimited. Like they just keep continuing making diamonds. And every animal has its own diamond. So, I mean, there's lots of them. There's tons of diamonds out there. Should I wait and get cat boxers? Oh. Ah. Uh, yeah. You I mean yeah, you should get you should I don't know. Up to you. I was using a cat boxer, but I honestly kind of just pulled it in. If you have uh, a pretty decent bottom sniper, it would probably work. Jordan Hawkins. That dude weighed 10 pounds. Are you serious? Weak. Bye, comrade. How fun is Hunter Call of the Wild? It is pretty fun, man. To a new player, it's a ton of fun. To someone who's been playing it for the past three years, it's still pretty fun, but not as fun. Did you carve with corn in real life? I failed, but it was in a big lake and the weather was a bit too warm. I'm still trying to catch, but my brother keeps calling carp a trash fish. Trash fish? It's like the most fish for fish in the world, though. Oh. Yeah, I, ha I have no idea, Caden Sears. We, uh, we restarted our game, and I honestly haven't been really keeping track. When did we restart our game, everyone? Do you remember? Was it in the summer? I feel like it was in the summer. Whenever we started the beginner series, Caden Sears. refuses to change his opinion you know you know what they say about people who refuse to change their opinion trombonist small brain small brain s-m-o-l b-r-a-i-n small brain takes a big brain to be able to change your opinion based off facts you know <laughs> See you next time, Isaiah. Thanks for being here, man. Appreciate it. Take care. Evan Thiel, big boy carp. Roger Crows has never played Call of the Wild. Well, if you enjoy hunting, you'll probably love it. President of the United States hasn't played Fishing Planet since he bought PGA 2K. How is PGA 2K? It looked fun, but also seemed like bad, bad graphics. This one seems pretty big, guys. We've been battling it for a while now.
No laptop, no pajamas. What am I even doing with my life? You are living it. Halfway full, just like me, Squish. <laughs> Yo, where is Jurassic World Evolution? I don't know. I don't, I don't know what you mean, man. Exactly, trombones. Now you're getting it. Just notice the glasses are out. The, uh, the polarized glasses in Fishing Planet or what, Evan Teal? Who sleeps with... With socks on. Ugh, I know, right? Gross. Let me live. <laughs> but you got me hooked on Call of the Wild. Really? Usually it's the it's the opposite, Caden. That's funny. That is funny. But it gets really repetitive quick. Gosh darn. That stinks. Venom PJs on. Ooh. What do you think we got, everyone? Do you think we got another unique, or is it just... Is it another mad lad 20-pounder? I mean, he is consistently pulling us out. Background graphics are some of the best I've seen in the game. It's challenging and changes every time you play. Really? Now, I will say that the background graphics did look okay. I thought that the uh, the people looked a little rubberish. They didn't look like real people. They look kind of... I guess mannequins are not made out of rubber, but uh, they look like mannequins. The golfers themselves. And uh, and like I've said before, like for for it being like the main golfer that you're playing with, that, that they don't seem to look that great, it's like, how could you overlook something that big? And, uh, and so it kind of threw me off the entire, like, the rest of the game just because of that. But I don't know. I might, I might be overanalyzing. <laughs> I can't place my rod stand on the docks. Why is that? It's a, it's a glitch, Sports Trooper. Uh, and if you don't want to call it a glitch, then it's just because that rod stand is meant to go into the ground, I guess. Dude, is this another unicorn? This is a big one. It's just a trophy. Gosh dang it, it is only 20 some pounds. Why is it that the 20 pound carp fights so badly? Goodness, great. You trying to prove something? You prove nothing. You prove nothing. You lose. You get nothing. Good day, sir. All right, we'll throw back this uh, trophy. Well, we're not gonna throw it back. We're gonna keep him. <laughs> But, uh, that was pretty good. Um, yeah, wish I would have had some spawn sacks or something because this rod is not catching anything on this. Unfortunately. And with seven minutes left, we need to figure out something, by golly. Bye, Comrade Doge. We'll try a little bit closer to the dock, I think. That's going to make a world of difference. Jurassic World Evolution video coming out. I don't know. I don't know, Roger. Oh my gosh. Well, that was rather fast. Whoa, we got him. We got him. Here we go. Hit that, that fighting music. I still don't have fighting music. I need to get fighting music. Live to win. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Until you fall. Live to win. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. In your eyes. Day by day. Fishing sturgeon all the way. I'm not caving in. Come on, burn it out. Na down again. Live to win. Yeah! 
Sturgeon! Boom, boom. 45 pound wide sturgeon there. My God, we, we waited with that first crawfish out there for what, how long? 10 minutes? Didn't catch anything. Took it back in, threw it back out, and boom. Wide sturgeon within like the first 30 seconds or a minute or so. That is awesome. Let's uh let's see what Hino thinks about this. This is honestly not the biggest sturgeon I've caught. Um, but still a really pretty fish all the same. Where are you looking, Hino? Can you turn this way? No! You turn too much. All right, $3,169 in the bank. Very nice, very nice indeed. I think we'll throw it back out in the same spot, honestly. I, I don't know what else to do. <laughs> Listen to me. My name is Bo, and I know everything about fishing. And I'm going to throw it out here because I don't know what else to do. All righty. Level 14 is very jealous. Would love to catch a fish that will give me $1,900 in the internet XP. <laughs> yeah, I understand. I understand. Wait till you get to the Everglades. Things get a lot cooler. All right. Well, there we go. We already got another one on there. Seriously. Seriously. Is this for real? There we go. Hook em! Ba -ba -ba -ba! Dun, dun, dun. Yeah! Shut up, Carprod! No, no, no! Don't beep! Oh! Oh! Oh, look at this cat boxer! I'm boxing him! Rocky Babo! because we have a huge grass and common carp in my lake but now it's too hot for carp and catfish the only thing that i've been able to catch are gar and panfish really have you been fishing in the in the morning or the after or the evening come here you sturgeon that old carp rod is just beeping away right now Dun 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 do 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 dun 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 do 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 dun 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 so do 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 That was a pretty good song there, Smash the Trash. Cause that annoyed me so much before it was put in. I agree. I'm right there with you, trombonist. Really wish that uh there was a button to turn off the darn beeping. Strike timed out. Oh, that's so sad, me. <clears throat> that fish looks like a dinosaur shark. Are you serious? Don't. It, it started beeping again. That method feeder, I swear, it just catches carp. Out the yahoo. 54. 54. 38 pounds, are you kidding me? Well, another sturgeon. Hook him! Hook him, Hank! Whoa! It just, it just freaking ramped off that grass again. <laughs> oh my god. Squish, don't drop the phone on your face! That's the moneymaker. You can't ruin the moneymaker, Squish. I haven't yet smashed, but my fingers are numb. What I'm missing something there, 42 America. Does he hunt? Does does who hunt? Sorry. A Nokia brick. If we can't see air, then fish can't see water. Oh my gosh. If he can walk on water, can he swim on land? Bo Burnham reference. Cast a catch. Hey, remember me? Met at Everglades. Cast a catch. I think so, Trixie. TTV. I'm pretty sure anyway. 
I remember meeting someone at the Everglades. That must have been you. That's pretty cool, man. Thanks for being here. And now here we are. We're finally here catching carps and catching these thurgeons. Catching all of them. When your pipe broke. I never broke no pipe. 54 inches, so you could call it kind of bone. <laughs> you and Flitter should do a live stream. You know, I just don't like asking people to do things with me. My golly. Oh, 200 and f 250 was enough? Is that what's going on here? Are you sure you didn't want to go out to 270? Why don't we just, why don't we just make a meeting for the next day? Huh? Why don't you just continue fighting and then, uh, and then tomorrow morning I'll, I'll reel you in. Is that a deal? Goodness gracious. Why is it called a building, but it's already built? Oh. Ooh. Don't know. I would totally live stream it with you. <laughs> right on. Feel bad for not joining the streams for a few weeks, but now that I have a better access to the internet, I can join them every night. Right on, Tom Prom Trom Prom Pam Pom Pam Pom Trombonist. Goodness gracious, I don't know why I was struggling so much to say that. Guys, I tell you what, if we could end on a unicorn, I would be one happy bow. I just, I don't know. I can see it. I can see it out there. That's a, that's a unique fin. That's a unique fin. Why, it's gonna be like 26 pounds. You just watch. Or 33 pounds. Oh! Words are hard. I know. Evan Teal has to go. Evan Teal, we're one fish away from ending the stream. Come on. Spam the unicorn. Spam the unicorn for a unique. That's how it works. That's how it works. The more people say unicorn, the more chances we have of getting one. <gasps> it surfaced. The wild unicorn surfaced. Oh, I saw him. Unicorn. Oh, you got an emote too. You got a unicorn emote? Jealous. I should probably make a unicorn emote, eh? You know, because of Fishing Planet having unicorns. If it wasn't a difficult animal at the end of the stream. I know, it's always perfect timing, isn't it? All right, we're gonna end this. Oh, look at that, level five something or other. <laughs> you know, <laughs> level nine Cape Buffalo, how about that? Right at the end of the stream. Look at that fin though. That is definitely the fin of a 26 pounder right there. <laughs> Unicorn! Get over here! Goodness. Good night, unicorn. 87, 86. I'm fighting him so much, I'm just gonna face the opposite direction. I heard my brother yell, BAM, from the other room, and I agree. BAM, indeed. Just for your birthday. If it's shut, why don't people shut up? Uh, I don't know. Isaiah's got the unicorns down. Come on. I mean, it has to be a unicorn, right? Look how much we're fighting this guy. If this is not a unicorn, it'll be such it'll be such a devastating thing for the end of the stream. Which is just bound to happen now. Now that we all know that it would be a really stupid way to end this stream. <laughs> That's how it's definitely gonna be. I'm just setting myself up. I'm ready. I'm ready for it. How do you get the headlight? You need to catch uh, a good number of fish at night. Um, I did it at Naharan because I was catching all sorts of fish at night at Naharan and I finally unlocked the headlamp So uh, just keep fishing at nighttime for fish and you'll eventually unlock the headlamp. It's a pretty helpful thing Definitely recommend it Hey 
Who knew there were trolls in Fishing Planet as well? <laughs> so true. Come on. You think it's a unicorn and then you walk up and you realize that it has two horns and you're like, stupid Triceratops. I thought you were a unicorn. Look at that. Look at that fish. Get in here, you 26 pounder. It is another unique common corp. Oh my God. Dude, that guy is huge. The last one we caught was what, 36 pounds? Holy crap. This dude is massive. This is our biggest so far. This is definitely our biggest. Oh my god. Look at this carp. I'm a little salty that we caught it at night, so all of the pictures are poop, but whatever. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That is amazeballs. Amaze, amazing. It's amazing. Maze, maze, it's amazing. Okay, take a little picture there with the weight so we know how much it weighed. And uh, let's get that out of there. There we go. That is freaking cool, man. That is a giant, giant common carp. So cool. That is cool, 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 man. Well, way to end the stream. Freaking massive common carp. I don't know how far off we are from the number one spot. I'm sure it's still a ways off. Like, I'm sure the the, common, the unique common carp goes up to like 49 or something like that. We'll have to see. We'll have to see how far off we are. 43.461 pounds, $3,105. That is insane. 1,865 experience. Good night. Good night. Goodness gracious. I I am really eager to see what what uh how close. That was 43 pounds, right? So let's see. Common carp. Uh San Joaquin. Fish. Common carp. Yeah, it does go to 49. So what is Oh man. We needed 44. We needed 44 to get uh get on the leaderboard, right? And we got 43. Is that correct? 43. Gosh dang it, we were so close. Oh well, still a really cool carp. That is for sure. 43 pounds. That's our that's our best to date anyway. What an amazing model. These carp are so pretty. It's crazy. They just did an amazing job making the model. Uh, the gloss, the scales, like everything about them is really pretty. But hey, that's it. Rap has just got a troll black bug that was 0.1 away from diamond. My goodness gracious. Next time, man. You'll get it next time. <laughs> Where are you fishing at? We're at fishing at San Joaquin Delta, man. Chupacabra. Uh, the one-eyed dinosaur. Thanks for answering your questions. No joke, carps look awesome. Seriously, they really do. I mean, they look, they look awesome. They look great. Anywho, the fish in this game are beautifully modeled. I agree. A lot of them anyway. There are some where I'm like, eh. It's like they haven't like totally finished them or something like that or they like added high def models later or something like for instance the uh, The steelhead. I don't think the steelhead models. are that great like it's like kind of low def up here and The scales I mean the scales are there, but they're just like I don't know. They just don't look that great There's no definition on the fins. They're just straight lines it's like they added a low poly version to the high poly versions and forgot to add in the high poly one or something. I don't know. They just don't look amazing. Anywho, still fun though. Tell you what everyone, that's gonna do it for this day. Thanks for watching, really appreciate it. I had a good time, hopefully you had a good time too. And if uh, you wanna watch more Fishing Planet, then obviously check in on Wednesday, W-E-D-N-E-S-D-A-Y. Wednesday nights, Fishing Planet, 7.30 to 9.30 p.m. Central. Probably going to be doing something similar, everyone. Fishing here at San Joaquin or uh, or something else. I honestly have no idea. We will see. Hopefully, I can plan something cool if, uh, if it's possible. So, uh, that's going to be it. 
take care everyone thanks for being here of course like the video if you haven't already and uh we'll see you next time everyone as always remember everyone <laughs>